Hello everyone, good afternoon. I'm Prasoon Agrawal from EQ International Magazine, India's oldest and leading media in, in the industry since 2009. And today I'm here with Mr. Puneet Jaggi, who is the director at Gensol Group. And we are here at Intersolar India, the booth of Easy Solar, which is a part, uh, uh, a company uh, company under the Gensol Group only. So hi Puneet sir. Thanks a lot Prasoon for having me here. You're welcome. So first of all, I would just like to begin with an introduction about Easy Solar and, and, and Gensol as well. And what product and offering uh, and services does it have to offer for the Indian solar market? Right. So uh, Gensol was started as a consulting business back in 2007. And uh, 2009 onwards, we entered into the design, engineering and project management side of business. Uh, since then, uh, we have done uh, work with the likes of Adani, SL, SoftBank and others, uh, having about 7,000 megawatts that we have been consultants to almost 40-50% uh, of the market. In addition to that, uh, we have also ventured into operation and maintenance more recently, uh, wherein we are maintaining about uh, 2,000 megawatts of uh, solar projects across the country, including rooftops projects, and uh, making us uh, probably the largest player in the operation and maintenance space as well. Uh, uh, lastly, uh, more recently, uh, we had also gotten to development of uh, two software companies. One is Easy Solar, which is an online platform for uh, buying and selling of solar equipment and services so we have got about 1400 products about 200 brands that you can purchase from online uh, and the second uh, uh, company that we have recently uh, uh, ventured into is uh, a development of uh, advanced SCADA systems so we are developing industry's most intelligent and advanced uh, monitoring and analytics platform uh, for managing operation and maintenance managing plant data generation predictive maintenance uh, so that uh, uh, we we are recently uh, having a couple of demos uh, with major Indian clients as well as internationally in Spain. Can you also share some performance numbers for your particular SCADA product which you are talking about sir, which you have recently launched I believe? So uh, the SCADA performance is measured in terms of uh, what kind of resolution of data it can provide uh, and second what kind of analytics capabilities it has. The traditional SCADA uh, solutions available in the market typically provide data to the resolution of 15 minutes going up to even 60 minutes. So you'll get one piece of data every 60 minutes. Whereas our system has a capability of collecting and displaying data every 250 milliseconds. Right? So that is the level of difference that we are being able to create. With reference to the level of analytics that we are being able to build, so uh, using the uh, uh, engineering experience and the operation and maintenance experience that we have, we are pouring it all into our product to be able to make a single point go-to solution for a, a owner, uh, for an installer, for an O&M operator, even for lending institution or equipment supplier. Right? We are talking about uh, analytics leading to predictive maintenance, uh, forecasting services. Uh, we are talking about measurement of losses at every uh, point of the uh, generation chain. Uh, that kind of analytics is altogether missing uh, from the global market, not only from India. And uh, uh, coming on to the competition scenario, what sort of competition are you facing for your products recently in the Indian market? And uh, uh, all right, I mean, let's 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 be done with this question. I'll also like to ask one more question. So, uh, uh, see, there are very enterprising uh, companies in India and uh, uh, like we have grown over the last couple of years, so have a lot of other uh, uh, fantastic organizations as well. Uh, with the blessings of our clients and uh, with the fantastic work that our team has put in, uh, we have so far maintained a leadership position in almost every business that we have ventured into. Uh, so, uh, uh, we have got more partners than we, we have got competition, but fantastic people, for example, at Esger, at TU we are doing a great job. Uh, similarly, in SCADA, uh, we have got the more legacy systems who have got a major market share that we hope uh, to take some part of. In operation and maintenance, uh, we are mostly competing with the client's own internal teams and not so much with a third party. If we look at independent O&M uh, players, uh, uh, you know, people who take up uh, O&M for third parties, uh, between us and the second largest, uh, there will be a difference of a factor of three times. Right? We are three times larger than the second largest competitor so it's not so much about the competition but more about convincing the client that we have got genuine value addition and we can do more and better than their own internal setup uh, which uh, which end up uh, as a competition to us more often than not what sort of market opportunity right now do you see in the Indian solar industry and do you also have any 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 footprint in, in global markets 
So, uh, 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 as I said, in consulting, we are having a 40-45% market share, and in O&M, we are having a 10% market share. In SCADA, we have just started. In Easy Solo, we have just about started. So, uh, I'm sure uh, uh, there's a lot of juice left in the Indian market itself, uh, but uh, Gensol has been growing every year in the last three years by about 300%, and uh, uh, we hope to maintain that growth with our international expansion. Uh, we are already present in nine countries outside India as of now, uh, uh, that being primarily in Africa, Middle East, and Southeast Asia. Uh, so, we have got an office in Kenya, we have got uh, presence in Oman, in Dubai, uh, in uh, Sierra Leone, Ghana, Chad, Gabon, uh, uh, in Vietnam, in Philippines, uh, we were executing projects in all of these geographies. Uh, and along with a joint venture uh, partner in operation maintenance, which is Solaric based in Spain, uh, we are through them also present in 27 different countries. Uh, Puneet sir, I would also like to have some more uh, comment of yours on this uh, on the solar uh, e, 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 e market platform which is Easy Solar and I think e-bidding. What sort of market acceptability has it been uh, experiencing since, since it has been launched? So, uh, a couple of interesting statistics here is that although we were launched only uh, two years back and uh, say for example, ministry's own spin portal has been live for a pretty long time, uh, we have got close to uh, more than half of the inquiries that ministry's portal receives. So, pretty good acceptability in that sense. Uh, if you go Google online solo services or online solo tenders, uh, Easy Solar is the first result that would open up in India. So, in that context, we have received a good market traction. We have sold more than a million and a half uh, rupees, a million and a half dollars uh, worth of products online. Uh, so, uh, and, and as I said, about uh, 200 brands have partnered with us to sell their equipment. So, touch wood, uh, with, uh, uh, with all of these, we have been able to, and the hard work that the team has been putting in, we have been able to get uh, significant traction, uh, but that as a percentage of the market is still very, very, very small. So, of course, there's a very, very long way that we have to go in terms of uh, product development, in terms of launching interesting uh, solutions for the industry. Uh, one of the more recent solutions that we have offered is Easy Box, which is a plug-and-play system that takes uh, about only an hour to install on anybody's rooftop, right? Uh, typically, you would take uh, maybe 30 days, uh, 60 days to install a rooftop solution, but up to a two and a half to five kilowatt system can be installed in a matter of couple of hours. Uh, this is shipped like a television or a fridge uh, in a plug and play format and uh, is extremely, extremely convenient to install. Right, so we are trying to bring such innovations and online tools to the market, uh, removing the friction of the entire process and hence get a slightly better market share. That's great, sir. Uh, coming on to uh, bigger industry issues, how do you see the recent uh, recent industry scenario right now? I mean, there's, there's, there's news of anti-dumping petition, so much confusion over that, there's no clarity, impact of GST. So what's the broad-based industry scenario in the, in, in the Indian solar market right now? What's your view on that? See, uh, at a macro level, the Indian solar story is fantastic, right? Uh, we are planning to have 12 gigawatts uh, of, of product projects being rolled out in the next four months, up till March 2018, and 30 gigawatt additions uh, in the two years after that every year. So at a macro level, India is probably amongst the three largest markets globally in solar. And uh, uh, with the exception of China, uh, maybe uh, we'll become the solar superpower. At the micro level, of course, uh, every year we see some or the other issues cropping up uh, that I feel government is fairly proactive to resolve as well. Uh, recently, we had the case of lots of uh, imports uh, being stuck at the Indian ports because of a confusion between the customs department and uh, MNRE. Uh, 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 then after that, there is the whole issue of anti-dumping duty which has been looming over our heads. Uh, so a better clarity over these and other regulatory issues issues, whether that be about uh, timely payment of PPAs, uh, whether that be about uh, uh, the uh, take or pay status or the must on status of solar plants. A better clarity of all of these is obviously going to go a very long way in building the confidence that India requires to make its large solar dreams possible. A lot of this money is going to be coming from outside India. Right, uh, people like NL and Actis and other international uh, IPPs are increasingly going to take huge bets in India, and this kind of comfort will remain essentially very important uh, for the Indian market to grow like the way it is planned to be. So, with this, sir, I would like to end, uh, bring an end to this conversation. That was a really nice opportunity speaking with you here. Yeah? Thank you so much for your time, Puneet, sir. Thank you. Always a pleasure interacting with you. Thanks. Great.